Happy Friday, Matt Helbig. What's going on, Matthew Smith? Glad to have you back. Dude, it's good to be back. I've been traveling a lot, been speaking at Iterable, Activate 19. That was a good conference. And we had our own, you know, it was crazy. Unspam babies. It's been a busy uh, spring, my man. Exactly. We've got an email called Tomorrow from the folks who are called Today. I'll let you solve that on your own. <laughs> One of the things I love about this email, it's all about simplicity, typography, one color, basically, you know, like, or two colors, rather, just making it dead simple. And yet it feels fun and warm. And they do that by using a color that has enough saturation to feel like it's got some presence. They have this background of the white, so it sets itself off. And then they use this illustration style, which is grayscale, but very like approachable. It has texture to it. So it's fun and, and interesting. And they have this custom typography up here. And then as you start getting into, you know, this little bit of the email, it's all live text. They've done a great job of getting me into the abbreviated summary of the article. And bam, I can go read the full interview or I can explore further and I can dig into some of these links. I understand why they made these links centered, but it's very difficult to read. The future of human work is imagination, creativity, and oh, and their strategy. So like your mind has a difficult time doing that, even though, I mean, most people are probably going, Matthew, really? Are you serious? But overall, the cognitive load for that is is just something you don't need to do. So if it were me, I would have figured out a way to left align it. And what you can do to make that work, since you're center aligning up here, you would put a like a rule or a border, some kind of division here, and that helps reset so then you can do left aligned below. And you'd want enough padding to make that work, but you could do that there. That top section, yeah, they used to color is really nice. I agree. And the, the read the full interview CTA, I think, is pretty powerful as well. Yeah. Some of the, the concerns with that text might actually be solved on mobile. I guess those are still some of the same issues, but I feel like maybe it's a little easier to read on mobile. I'm yeah. Sure. So one of the reasons, like it's funny, but this link is easier to read on mobile because it reads more like a unit. Whereas when you have this little, uh, it's not called an orphan or a widow. It's something else. I can't remember in typography. Somebody out there is going to yell at me for that, not knowing this because I was recently corrected that it's not an orphan or a widow. It's something else. Stepson? But it, it's the stepson of typography. But basically, you know, like when you have just one word down here, it doesn't read as unified with this sentence. But when you have this, it does, which is a strange kind of function of the typography. So again, left aligned would work better. But also if you are testing these kinds of links and you have the ability to either adjust the design or adjust the title so that you're showing more uh, on a second line rather than just a single word that's going to be the best but yeah can we go down to into this uh bright signals area? sure yeah go ahead cool so yeah i'm, I'm digging this illustration style uh, again like check out up top and then you come down, it's got a very editorial quality, and I love it. I think there's they're doing some nice stuff here. They have a great little style of like getting these links into some kind of mini paragraphs, mini sentences. I really like the way that they're, you know, sort of pulling this out. So this is, as I read it, it's curated news. And I, I think curation is a fantastic way for people to get content out. You don't have to write your own. This is stuff I talk about in my talks, you know, it's like get this stuff out there where like you find it, you did the work, you did the curation, and that's really valuable to your customers, right? So they've done a, a great job of getting that out here. And I think this is kind of a fun way of breaking the grid, right? So more or less, they've started in a centered way here, and then they give enough this is really important. They give enough white space here where they they reset the grid. So in other words, if this were too close, it would feel weird. But because it's got enough padding, it feels okay. Like that's really important. I, people probably think I'm crazy talking about this, but it's this is one of the things that we regularly turn down emails is there's not enough white space to justify the topography that they're doing. So same, you know, they leave enough white space here to get down into a left alignment. The only thing that I would say about some of this is is for me, I'm fairly ADD and it gets a little bit long form to read for me, but that's kind of an interesting thing that you get to test with your audience, right? So Matt, what's your experience been with that and all the you know different email campaigns you've sent? 
breaking the grid definitely brings your eye almost down the email and it doesn't feel like too off. And I think the mobile view definitely does maybe a better job. Uh, whenever I think of these news emails, I think of you like on a train looking at your email and being like, wow, there's so many cool tips. So this definitely feels like very consumable, very scrollable. And I think taking a lot of content and kind of moving it into different sections to break it up. So it definitely feels like it's easier to consume. And I would maybe read through this just a little bit more. And I think it's a nice way to use some custom illustration and bring in some in information without relying on pulling in images from each of these articles. And I really like these headlines too. I think they're really informative. They're fun. They kind of draw your attention into the email. It's not just like latest news, you know, like my week in tabs is a lot more fun for sure. Uh, the, more, the more we dig into this email, the more I like it. This little call out here for like just giving me some content that is, you know, a great little like news blurb quote. I, I just love this kind of stuff, right? Like this is a great way to just give me a quick overview of what's happening in the week and then start digging into this inside today area. They do a great job here. They go between up top centered, then they're left aligned uh, heading, but then they switch over here to the right with the content while still being left aligned with the actual text and then left aligned, but they put it in a block left aligned, but they have like a little bit different style, left aligned, but they have this quote style, left aligned, but they have it in a different color block. Like they do this great job of like really making it feel just like really interesting down through the entire email. I think that's great. The use of color to break up sections definitely was eye-catching to me when I saw this one. It really takes the amount of text that they need to pull in and adding these additional styles and it definitely makes the email more visually interesting to look at. Yeah, you know, the, the thing that I really want to call out here is that I have no idea how to pronounce Wurundjeri. I also do not. We'll <laughs> find out together. Oh, man. I'll insert uh, someone saying it now. I really want to know how that uh, is pronounced. Wurundjeri. This is a cool email. I dig this. Look at this. We don't do spam. Quickly and easily unsubscribe from this mailing list was just a nice little touch. Yeah. Looks weird. God. Man, somebody really thought hard about all this. This is fantastic. I'm pretty psyched. And like these very quick, easy links up top that get out of the way. That just feels great. So yeah, well done tomorrow. Well done today. Tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yesterday. Cool. Have a great day, Matthew Smith. Enjoy your Friday. All right. Bye, bud. Bye. If you have any feedback on the series, please leave a comment down below. Hit subscribe to keep up with future episodes. Thank you for giving a listen and letting our sponsors know you love really good emails. Hey, everybody. This is the thing that we're doing right now.